Good morning, everybody. This is your morning check-in for Friday, June 19th. As we come to the close of this week, I hope you had a great week. I hope you were able to get out and enjoy the sunshine. I know yesterday we had an awesome afternoon here at Christ Lutheran Church. We were out in the parking lot handing out vacation Bible school packets and visiting with church families and community families and daycare families, and, and it was an absolutely great day. As we're looking ahead to Sunday, I really wanted to focus our devotion on just reminding us how God intervenes in our lives. One of the songs we're singing on Sunday at both services is I Love to Tell the Story. You know, it's a it's old, good, tried and true hymn. It's one, if you're a traditionalist, it's, it's right up there, we know, with some of our favorites. But it has an important message for us. You know, so often when we hear about discipleship or needing to tell the story, People think that we need to be able to pull that scripture right out of the Bible and start quoting gospel to people, and that's not what I'm talking about. In fact, if you had to rank my strengths and weaknesses, pulling scripture out of the Bible off the top of my head would be one of, not one of my strengths, but I'll tell you what, what is, is knowing the purpose of the message from the Bible. And that's what we want to focus on this morning. In one of the verses, it says, I love to tell the story because I know it's true. It satisfies my longings as nothing else can do. You know, as we, as we study the Bible and we study God's love, sometimes we get so hung up on what every piece of scripture says and things like that. And I think one of the things we've learned is we need to turn to the cross. We need to remember that Jesus' story the story God has given us is one of love. That God loved us so much that he sent his son in a lowly stable. And as his life continued, you know, Jesus just continued to face trials one after another. But he continued to share that good news with others. He continued to share the news that God loves everyone. You know, God loved us so much that not only did he send his son as a baby into a, a world of unknowns, but he has sent his son to be flogged. He sent his son to carry his own cross and be put to death on it for all of us. Now, that's a great story, but I'm not sure that's going to just bring people right into the church as you tell that story. But here's a better story. You know, better may not be a right word but a story that's easier to share. God loves you. God changed our lives when he sent his son for us. So what does that mean for us? How do we tell a story? Well, it's simple. You've got a lot of stories, my friends. As you talk to people and you can share how God has impacted your life, life what does that mean? How has he shown you a God moment and you've gone and acted on it and followed God's guidance and God's love. You know, I, I could go on stories for a long time. And some of you are now rolling your eyes going, oh, we know. Yeah, sorry about that. But, you know, Father's Day is coming up. And as I was sort of just reflecting on, on the upcoming weekend, I'm, I'm having two weddings. And, and really, I'm having a grandbaby being born. And, and it's Father's Day. There's so many things that God has blessed me with this weekend. But, you know, the thing that's most important to me right now is that when my dad got ill, one of the things we learned was that family was so important. And we're like any other family. We don't agree on everything. Actually, there's a lot of stuff we don't agree on. And, and as our family has grown, we've add new, added new pieces into it and new people. And, you know, that causes a dynamic that sometimes wouldn't be great for a family gathering. I beg to differ. I would tell you that one of the biggest things that I think God has, has shown me in my life is that when you're part of a family, be it the good family or the Bream family or Christ Lutheran family, he gives us that blessing to have our different perspectives and to come together and to spend time with each other as a family. So on Sunday at our annual crab feed for Father's Day, I can hardly wait, you know, we're going to all sit around a really big table with eating our crabs and and the one thing that'll be there is god's love for us and god pulling us and reminding us that we are a family and we don't have to agree 
that's just a small story. Actually, it's a big story in my life. It's changed our lives over the past few years to make sure we pull together. So my question to you is, what's your story? What do you have to share with somebody about how God has impacted your life? You know, folks, we'll see you Sunday morning, either online or at church. Remember, funeral home door, masks, please. And God bless you and have an awesome weekend. Bye-bye.